We're just talking about why you shouldn't even ride or buy a motorcycle. Like, they're pretty expensive. Just to get box stock is like, it's a good amount of money, especially right now when interest rates are high. So financially, it's a bad idea. So don't buy a motorcycle if you're worried about the financial aspect of a bad investment. And then the insurance, if you're a younger rider, can be really, really expensive, like as high as five, 600 a month. And if you're financing a bike, the bank's gonna require that you have full coverage. And like your buddy just got one and you're younger and you're like, shit, I gotta do it. And the freaking insurance is more expensive than the bike because you're high risk and they pretty much already know what you're trying to do. Triple digits on the highway without any of the education or practical riding experience. And then you're gonna want to upgrade it and get a pipe, a full system, a slip on, a freaking triple tree, fake carbon fiber cover, you know, all this shit. I want to get a Team Bravo tag here uh, from the affiliate link in the description below. Else shouldn't you ride? Oh, it's fucking dangerous! Holy shit! I like every four-wheeled vehicle on the road out to ruin your day. Yeah, that's not okay with you being on a vehicle or if you're a family man or woman and have children and all of that, young children, it might not be worth the risk, especially if you're not an experienced rider or, you know, it's something you just want to give a shot. I would say hold on, wait a little bit longer in life and venture back to it and, you know? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's no rush. Say so you got friends that are doing it or whatever, a family member wants you to do it or whatever. It's not worth jeopardizing anything at your, anything with your home, your house, your spouse, your children. Yeah, your household, exactly. It's, uh, you got people counting on you. Yeah, get a dirt bike. Get a scooter. Oh, that's another reason is like, dude, if you live in New York, like we do, you only get to ride these things for like six to eight months out of the year. Oh, also on the financial side, you got to get all the gear and shit. You know, there's like minimum. Minimum is you need like pants, boots, um, gloves, helmet. It better not yeah. be a summer of all rain again, because that'll piss me off. God bless, bro. Let's go. If you're somebody who loves speed, not only would it be dangerous speed-wise, but what I'm always worried about is maybe getting pulled over because I have a nice, clean record. Ah, yeah. The tickets? I mean, and you it get pulled be over. like a little ticket. It'd be, you know, yeah. you're going 50 miles an hour over the speed limit ticket. Oh, over. <laughs> It takes away from your family. It does. So, like I said, if you have children and you're out on a bike and your wife and kids are at home or your kids are at home or with a babysitter, or... that's why I said if you have young children, I don't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. We, we waited 18, 19 years, you know? Years. <clears throat> oh, thank you for your service, bud. There you go. That's my salute, combat. Because I always make sure I have enough time to get back home to go for nightly walks with the kids or badminton tournaments or whatever they want to do for mama. 
Oh, Uncle oh. Sam's. Yeah, that's right. Uncle there Sam. Is. He's from Troy, New York, and he's in this cemetery right here. So it's like the Uncle Sam, I want you. Yeah. Yeah, Gigi's buried there. Wifey's grandma. Just about to say that my visor makes the sky look more blue than what it actually is. I mean, yeah, dude, you, you could get fucked up on a bike, man. You could get fucked up. Yeah, you see those YouTube shorts where it's like young kids or whoever, and they are paralyzed from their neck down. They got into an accident and they'll just never be the same and you're just taking a huge risk for, is it really a reward? Well, that's the other thing is like, ride your own ride is a real thing. Like so many people seem to be getting on leader bikes and, and you know, they're, they just don't know. <laughs> the speed, recklessness, the young age, it's a recipe for disaster. Even the most experienced guys, the best of the best. I mean, Valentino Rossi, one season, like, freaking crashed, I don't know, a record number of times. You got to be ready to be planted in a wheelchair the rest of your life to get on one of these things. I mean, if you're single and you have all the money in the world and... little to no family and you just live in for your own life and all that I mean yeah that's how we met I've never heard another story like our story you're good What do you think of our story? You like our story? Yeah, it's our story. I love our story. I know. <laughs> if you want to do something so fucking awesome and there's nothing else like it, then yeah, you should definitely ride a motorcycle. <laughs>